hello viewers thank you so much for visiting my channel today i have another simple recipe for you it's really easy very healthy for you and it's super tasty so it's the minced chicken spaghetti recipe if you are new to my channel then please make sure that you subscribe every sunday i upload a new recipe now let's just get on with the preparation so i'm just gonna get all my trappings done first here i've got 200 grams of tender stem broccoli and i'm just going to follow each branch and cut them long this will be cooked quicker and also this is the same size as my spaghetti so it will go perfect together just to let you know i've already washed them before so these are ready to use so i'm just going to keep them aside here i've got half red pepper and half yellow pepper i'm also going to chop them and keep it aside 200 grams of mushrooms again keep them on the side now let's chop three spring onions i'm going to also chop one big onion to be honest, when you're cooking, it doesn't really take much time. It's only when you're preparing everything. It just takes a little longer. So finally, I'm just going to chop one tomato into small cubes and that's it. My choppings are done. For this recipe, I'm using 500 grams of minced chicken. Next, I'm going to be boiling 300 grams of spaghetti with a half a teaspoon of salt and water. Let's put the lid on and boil up to 80% and it shouldn't take more than 4-5 to five minutes. It's been about 5 minutes so let's have a look and see if it's ready to strain. Use your fingers and press to check that it's cooked 80% from outside and 20% uncooked from inside. Once you're happy with it, strain the spaghetti and keep it aside. Now I've got everything ready so let's start cooking. In a preheated frying pan I'm adding about 4 tablespoons of olive oil. You can also use butter, it'll taste even better. I'm using olive oil because this one is a healthy recipe. In here add the chopped onion. Now let's give it a quick mix and then add the minced chicken in here. Mix everything really well until the onion is half cooked and the minced chicken should be turning white. When you come to this point add half a teaspoon of chilli powder, half teaspoon of turmeric powder, half teaspoon coriander powder, half teaspoon black pepper, half teaspoon white pepper, half teaspoon basil, half teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of salt, 2 tablespoons of soy sauce 1 teaspoon of ginger paste 1 teaspoon of garlic paste Now let's combine everything together and you will notice the chicken will be released in his water Keep cooking on high flame until the water is dried up As you can see the oil has started coming out so that's when you know it's ready So now let's add the chopped tomato And this time the tomato will release his water a little bit so I'm just going to wait till that's dried up as well Again, you can see that the oil has started coming out, so now let's add the spaghettis in here. I hope you're enjoying watching my recipe. If you do like my videos, then please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Anyways, now I'm going to combine everything together and then I'll be adding all the vegetables one at a time. Now it's ready, so let's add the mushrooms first and mix it all. Next add the tender stem broccoli and mix it again. Now it's time to add the chopped peppers and give it a quick mix. Keep mixing everything together on the lowest flame. All the recipes that I have on my channel I try my best to keep them short as possible so I'm not wasting your time. And also if you have noticed I keep them as simple as possible so it's not very difficult to try at home. Anyways, the vegetables are not cooked yet, so I'm going to put the lid on and leave it like this for a few minutes. It's been about a few minutes, the vegetable and the spaghetti, everything is perfectly cooked. As you can see that everything is still separated from each other, not overcooked and the vegetables are still crunchy. So finally, let's add the chopped spring onions and mix it all one more time and it will be ready to serve. Thank you so much for staying with me till the end. If you enjoyed watching this recipe then please make sure you give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you soon in my next video so take care till then.